I'll be a fool. Damn. I'll be a fool. This, this is going to sound like a wicked. Boy, for am money there, friends with benefits. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the shot. Yeah. Me not answer that. Me not answer that question. Can I answer? Can I answer that question? Can I answer? Why you trigger me? Why you trigger me right now? She's triggering me. Hi guys, welcome back to a very special episode of Day Drinking. Today we're doing the Love Level Special, and we have Joby J. Period. Hi. And so we're in the, the, the colors. We're in red. Yes. So we're by the pool. <laughs> yeah. With water and with shots. Period. So even the shots are red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These questions are love themed. Okay. You know, to go with the theme of the album. Period. Um, and the rules are a little bit different. It's just tops. Well, okay, so let me tell you the typical rules if this is the first time you're tuning in. The typical rules is for every question she doesn't answer, she has to take a shot. For every question she does answer, she has to take a shot. But because it's a special, for, you know, but for every question you do answer, you can opt in to let me answer as well. Okay, that's a little spin. Let's dive right into it. I know you said in real love mm -hmm. that love is a risk you don't want to take. But to dive in. But love is yeah. a risk. I want to take it. I want to dive in. You want to dive in. Yeah. But are you actually willing? Because being in love and being in a relationship, especially with a Jamaican man, <laughs> that's a risk unto itself. So are you... At a place in your life where you're open and vulnerable enough to op to, to commit emotionally and physically and every illy to somebody. And even if that means experiencing heartbreak. You know, I feel that there's always going to be a chance of heartbreak because, you know, you can think you know somebody so well, but you mm -hmm. know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do. And sometimes people do things to hurt you, not intentionally, mm -hmm. you know, but it still hurts you. It doesn't take away from the fact that it hurts you. So I think I'm getting closer and closer to being fully ready to really commit to somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty open. I don't really have an issue with being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Once I see that you make me feel safe and you make me feel like okay you're actually genuine and you care mm -hmm. i'll be open to share whatever so yeah i think i'm 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 not there there 100 percent, but yeah okay i'm getting there cheers we started it off good because that was a nice question because you know a lot of the times people are afraid of love and commitment because they're afraid of getting hurt yeah yeah you, you're there's always a chance of getting hurt that's just the truth you cannot run away from it like you can love somebody down mm -hmm. and they can love you down and it still have a little disappointment or something in there. It's just how you navigate it. Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily even have to be like cheating. Yeah, no, there's, there's no, other ways. There's so many other things that <laughs> can happen, honest. you know, that can hurt you. So um, this is a wild card question. Um, what was your writing process for this album and what inspired you, especially when you're writing songs like Real Love, um, Moonlight and Feelings? Wow, okay, so the writing process for this um, EP, it was honestly, it was kind of all over the place. Like, mm -hmm. it just happened when I got the vibes. So, you know, I mentioned before that the EP, Love Levels being the theme, it really happened because of, you know, I was going through a breakup and so mm -hmm. the content of the songs naturally started to change because, you know, my music is very personal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the songs just really happened at different points after the breakup so I wrote songs when I was in the midst of it and everything is terrible and you're crying and you're wondering what's going on mm -hmm. and I wrote songs when I was like getting out of that little weird phase and I'm just like okay I'll be fine you know and then I wrote songs when I was you know back in the dating pool and talking to people and catching feelings and all mm -hmm. of that stuff so it was really just me writing throughout these different love levels you know so that's really that's really how it yeah, happened, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right. So back to the shorts. Back to the shorts. Back to the shot then. Um, would you consider getting back together with an ex-partner? Hey. Despite the risk associated with, you know, said there's ex. a There's a song by Afrobeat artist. Her name is Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I know the song. Where you go? I'll be a fool to go back to yeah, my ex. You ever hear the song there? Yeah, I know. I'll be a fool. Damn. <laughs> I'll be a fool. Like, no, no, I'm sorry. I mean, blessings and love to all my exes. Mm -hmm. mm, that makes it sound like enough. I don't know, but um, no. <laughs> I feel, no, no, <laughs> no. I mean, I feel like exes are an ex for a reason. Unless they're really, That's true, but I yeah. feel like, you know, sometimes 
Sometimes you can go back to our ex and it work out, but really? in my situation, it's a no for me. It's a strong no for me. Yeah. I don't think I would go back to any of my ex then. I thought y'all are watching this. <laughs> I would not. It's a no for me. <laughs> Moving on. Have you ever confessed your feelings to someone knowing there was a possible possibility of rejection? Yes. Yes, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I did approach a guy. You know, I started to talk to him and, you know, I was throwing little hints here and there that I liked him. Mm -hmm. And luckily it was positive, but like, I really was not sure. Cause mm. I mean, he has interacted with like my posts and stuff, but not because somebody like your picture and share your post means that I'm like attracted to you. They're probably just like That's what you do, true. you know what I'm saying? Especially with so, these modern day men. So that yeah, I'm gonna like try, come he's a girl, maybe I'm not mind, I'm at the first move, you know. I'm trying to work on that though. I'm trying to not be so, oh, Oh, out there. You know, masculine and go after. I'm trying to like sit back in my feminine and allow the men to come to me. Yeah, they're supposed to. And make the first move, you know what I'm saying? As mm -hmm. a queen, period. I don't do it. I don't <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, but I haven't, I haven't been rejected a lot, so that's, that's nice. All right, next question. Next shot. Have you ever left a relationship because a person couldn't prove it? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what do you mean by what there. you mean by that? You never listened to the album? You didn't listen to the album? <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, are you really a fan? That's what I'm saying. Like, um, I didn't, I've never had to leave a relationship because the person didn't prove it. Mm -hmm. But I left a relationship one time because, and boy, this is, this is a little wicked. But I did young, you understand? I did young, young, young. I never know myself. Or maybe I did, but I left the relationship because it just wasn't doing it for me. And you know what's so funny? When mm -hmm. I got into it, I was just like, I knew it never did a last. I knew it never did a last. But I said, no, I like just do it, you know, for the fun and so I go on. And yeah, after a while, I was just like, yeah, I'm, this is not working out. Um, all the best to you in your life. Thank you for your time. But that's why I left because Jano. I was just like, I'm not feeling it. And then he was doing some dumb stuff. I'm like, like y'all stress me. So not only me. Were, was he at look at test run, <laughs> but in at the test run, he act up. You see, yeah, men, like me you I know, no on yourself half of the time, you know. Next question. Wait, I mean, so, you know, some don't understand my own rules. I think you have to take a shot still. You want me to take one with you? Yeah, come. come take, no we, never do no, we never do no Oi. icebreaker shot today. Cheers. Cheers. What you know? Problem. Cheers to the hot, hot, hot sun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Mm. I'm getting better at doing this shot thing. Woo! It's because it's hidden in the in the in the. Syrup. Probably because usually, all three time me and one shot. I'm yeah. terrible. I'm terrible at it. But I'm so terrible. Me, I taste a tequila. You know. Did you taste a tequila? I now? tasted it, but it's like the sweetness is it's just like it's strawberry. It's <laughs> the sweetness that distract me. <laughs> all right. So next question. Okay. Have you ever been in a friends with benefits situation, and how did you deal with those feelings, and how did it affect? The relationship slash friendship. <laughs> well, I, well, I'm on here there, friends with benefits. <laughs> um, yes, I have. Um, it's interesting. You see, those those things are very interesting to navigate because it's just like, okay, so you like me, you like like me, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like like you too. But like, we're friends, so like, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's such an interesting thing. But um, so far, the experience that I have. That I've had it's it's been good and I think it's because you know we're very honest with each other mm -hmm. and I say what I need to say he says what he needs to say if we need to talk about boundaries to talk about that if something come up where make somebody uncomfortable we discuss it and what else have bongs and I got true mm -hmm. so yeah it's yeah all right I'm take the shot yeah. I mean I answer that I mean I answer that question <laughs> you not answer I'm not answer that question you not answer not. but friends with benefits that thing that that thing is very tricky you have to know what you're doing and you have to be aware of the risks you have to know that okay if this is something that you're gonna do it can go really well and it can go really bad yeah because remember <laughs> so, at the end of the day that's your friend you know what i'm saying is you have to think well can it go back to being a friendship exactly is it going to be weird and sometimes people aren't really honest that too sometimes people are honest people will be like yeah man this is cool when it's not cool so mm -hmm. Yeah, but just know it's a risky game. <laughs> it's a very risky game. To be honest. Yeah. All right, so we're going into a wild core question. Um, so, Feelings, your song on the album, has a little Afrobeats feel to it. Yeah. Feelings I liked is... it. I like that. Yeah. I'm not like, I like, I don't even know what to call that genre of Afrobeats. It's, I'm a piano inspired. 
Yeah. Okay. It's actually I'm a piano vibes. I cause that's what yeah. I was ask, gonna ask you is that um what was your process with making feelings? Cause it sounds a little bit different from yes. other songs yes. on the um, album. Wow, big up JLL. Mm -hmm. um, I finally got to work with JLL and I was so excited because I've always wanted to work with him. So we linked up and JLL was just like, hey, we're just gonna see what we create. Let's just not put like a set thing or like a set sound. Let's just vibe and see what we create and feelings happen that way. Mm -hmm. So I went into it, we didn't know how the song was gonna turn out, we didn't know how the instrumental was gonna turn. We just said, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to the studio, we're vibe. And I mean, of course, we talked, and he was just like, okay, what are you into? What kind of songs do you like? Mm -hmm. And I told him that I had interest in like Afrobeats. So, yeah, like when we started working on that rhythm, it was not how it sounds now. It started oh. off as like a whole different vibe, but it evolved, and it was just a beautiful process to see how it turned into what it turned into. And I think one of my favorite things about recording and just the process of studio sessions is just the evolution of the music, mm -hmm. how the layers are added and how everything comes together and sounds at the end in comparison to how it sounds when, it's, when it just starts. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. So, okay. Because so, I think yeah. that's definitely one of my top three off the album. Um, it and Bear. I think everybody loves Bear though. Yeah, Bear that's a single, a right? Yeah, that was the one that was yeah. released first before the EP. Yeah, because um, I love the vibe of, of those two songs and Moon, Moonlight. I love those those three songs. Those mm -hmm. are my top three. And I think maybe because I'm gravitating towards Afrobeats where Feed is really like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. oh! I'm just like... What, what, what I love about feelings is how it starts, very like, t -t -t -t, and then it just, it just builds up, builds up, builds up. I love it. It's like mm -hmm. a beautiful crescendo. Love it. Okay. Love so it. let's move on because, you know, got to get back to the shots. Back to the shots. All right. So this question is inspired by beer, actually. Okay. Um, have you ever felt a deep connection with someone like the one you describe in beer, but mm -hmm. the relationship couldn't seem to work? No, <laughs> no, no, I wrote, uh, uh. <laughs> wait, let me think about it, let me think about it before my answer, Oi. you know what's funny though, uh -huh. and that's why I call myself a hopeful romantic, because when mm. I wrote Bear, I wasn't really experiencing that type of love, I wrote Bear mm. after the breakup, so oh. Bear was kind of a song where I was talking about you know the love that i want that, in the oh. future so, so i'm like this I'm is the love yeah you know what i'm saying yeah so but i feel like i i feel like i experienced that love after though i mm. feel like i experienced it after where i was just like whoa she manifested so manifest that like it just come up in a real life she called it to her wow <laughs> so yeah so now when i sing that song i think about a specific person mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah <laughs> okay uh, yeah. so that means that i shot here or yeah i'm never answer yeah, I never answer if I take it. The shot them are done though. I mean, I take the whole of them. Wow. It's crazy. Let me mm. tell you. Mm. All the right. shot them nice though, I'm not lying. Your angle is Angel. Don't it? A five minute take over your oh, Angel made it. Made the sage. I wish I call it. It's a sage. The love sage potion since love it's a love potion. levels. I like that. Love sage, love sage potion. potion. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. Okay, so this one is loaded. Loaded, boy. It's not loaded, loaded, loaded but like loaded fries. it's not spicy <laughs> like how the typical day drinking, like risk okay. your career kind of spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a trending topic. Trending topic, All okay. Right. So would you be willing to give up certain personal aspirations or dreams for the sake of a committed relationship, especially as an entertainment? In the example of Kiki Palmer and her ex, or Jonah Hill and his ex, if your partner told you that an aspect of your job made them uncomfortable, I feel like this is a very valid question. Anybody who wants First of all, it? why you trigger me? Why should you trigger me right now? <laughs> She's triggering me. I don't know the Jonah Hill situation, but I know the well, Kiki Palmer situation. You. Yeah, or you can tell me. Let me tell you what the, that. I mean, I'm unbiased. Let me not. <laughs> I'm just giving you guys news. To okay, what happened. News. I'm not giving my opinion. Right, right. Right. So he, he, I think he's like, Five or he's older than her mm -hmm. by a good amount, either five or some more years, right? Yeah. He went, he saw she was a surfer, he started to date her, and then he text, he was texting her, he's like, yo, I don't like when you post bikini pictures. And then he screenshot the pictures on her Instagram and it was her surfing. 
So he's like, you can't post these if we're in a relationship. There are boundaries. I can't be with somebody who's posting these type of pictures. I need you to not hang out with your unstable female friends either. You can have lunches with them, but nothing beyond that. And he just had a lot of demands. And then he painted them as boundaries. He's saying, these are my boundaries. Take it or leave it. Because I don't want to be with somebody that can't respect my boundaries. So a lot of people were saying that these aren't boundaries. It's a tactic of manipulation because a boundary... You can't kind of go into a relationship with a surfer and then tell the surfer not to post their pictures of them surfing, which was up before. You get me? So that's kind of the Jonah Hill. They, they're broken up now because she posted it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, after I talk, and I'm so, I'm so triggered because people are insane. People are actually deranged. Yeah. There's no way you can see a cat. You say, you know, I like this cat. This cat is cute. I want this cat for a pet. And then... Five months down the line, you want to turn the cat into a dog. You are insane. That's the you thing. You are insane. That's it a is good manipulative. example. Though. It is manipulative. Boundaries are good. And if, you, if this is what you want, these are your terms and conditions, that is fine. But you cannot go into something and see somebody behaving a certain way, especially as it relates to a career. A career. So she feels surf in a while long layered from head to toe. She feels she feel surf. It wasn't even a bikini. It was like, like a one piece. No, like, it's that, like he that wanted to delete her surfing so pictures. You date, you're dating a surfer and then you want to tell her that she can't surf. It's crazy to me. And even like, that No, because yeah. that's basically what you're telling her. What are people going to surf in? They're going to surf in. Maybe he wants to, you know, do full. In swimwear. The full, that's crazy. The full suit. The scuba, the scuba diving suit. The wet that's suit. Crazy. Wet Let me tell you. And this is something I realize that a lot of people do as it relates to relationships. We meet people and we see some things that we like. And there are some things that we know we don't like and it bothers us. But for some reason, we hope that we hope that it will change. Mm -hmm. Or we hope that somewhere along the line, the person is going to change because, oh, they're in a relationship or, oh, they're a mother. But no, that is why people need to talk more. I say this all the time. Yeah. We don't talk enough. We go around with all of these assumptions. And then when push comes to shove, there's an explosion and people are left confused. Because why never said that to me before? Because exactly. obviously this is something that has been bothering you and you're bringing it up now. But how would you handle that if somebody you're dating be like, yo, Joby, I don't know, like, I don't like how you're oh, that boy in a music video, you know, because... First you of all... stop oh, got man in a music video, you know, man, because... Or some, some along that line. You see, um... I'm not, a type, I'm not the type of person who is easily jealous, mm -hmm. so therefore I'm not attracted to people who are easily jealous. If I pick up that you are not sure of yourself and you are not sure of how I feel about you, first of all, we're not going to go far. Because, like, at the end of the day, you are my man, and me and you uh, go, me and you do all of the things, and why you feel threatened by somebody who may hook up in our music video? Mm -hmm. You get what I say? It, it says a lot about you, how you feel about yourself, and how you feel about me. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very deep. So if you are coming to me with stuff like that, like... It's a no for you. It's a no. We're going to have a conversation, and we're mm -hmm. going to see how the conversation go, but it's, it's going to turn me off, because it's, it's just, it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic, like, mm -hmm. it's unrealistic. Don't go in a water and expect say. You're gonna feel like you're in a fire. It just. <laughs> to be honest. To be honest. Let no. Me... No. It's and to prevent me from taking this shot, let me fully answer. I, <laughs> how I would handle that. Personally, the Kiki thing, I, I don't like embarrassment. Yeah, it's also <laughs> embarrassing. I don't it's like embarrassment because I don't. I honestly. I feel like I would have handled it how Kiki handled it because she kind of tried to navigate the, the attention away from it and she was posting positive things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was, but I don't handle my embarrassment well and I don't... You think you'll just disappear? I don't know, I don't post the same way, but I just not post, I stop talking about him. Mm. Everybody would have said, that girl, I pretend like she never have a man. Yes, yeah. I would. Mm. So we're in the last question and there's two shots, so we're just going to share okay. this. The shots. Are you... <laughs> this one kind of spicy. I believe it's best for last. Are you open to explore non-traditional relationship dynamics such as open relationship or poly? <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> Why? I'm open. I'm open. Oh, so you would have been open. A... Not like wide open. So when you but say... But like... Uh, when, when you I know, mean? like you crack the door. No, that door sound open, <laughs> Joby. That door sound open, I'm Joby. I'm open. I'm, I'm open-ish. Open like a tops. You know, with a side of open. You know? That's not open to you, no? That door sound open to me. I'm, I'm 
open to have that's a discussion all... about being open. <laughs> that sounds like your clothes. So I'm very, I will answer no. <laughs> I am too possessive. I wouldn't even say possessive. I can't, I can't do that. I just, just listen, I that. get it. I, I get it. I see and it works fine. It works I, I feel for the other same way too. But, but I feel like. I see where it can be very healthy some, for yeah. some people. And I just don't think it would be healthy for me. Personally. I get you. I also feel like it depends on where I am in my life. Because right now, like right now, I feel like, okay, I'd be open to trying some, you know, untraditional roots, you know, mm. but maybe next year, five years from now, I won't feel the same way. I feel so, like the only time I would be open to this is if well, is when I'm like 70 and me and my husband still together and we're bored. Mm. And we're like, you know what? I think the perfect term would be, um, it's a term that I've heard Shan Boudram use, which is like monogamish. So it's monogamy, but, but like with a side of other things <laughs> so it's it's still like the basis foundation of the relationship is monogamous but, right you know you guys still have some amount of freedom you mm -hmm. know based on what you guys discuss and the boundaries to you know double 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 you know so that's how i feel right now so right now in this moment, that's why monogamy I right so that's like that's not like you know those door stoppers <laughs> Yeah, you know, so that's so why you know, it feels like you're just no, no, close the door, door open. It have look cool. Yeah. Put a door stopper there. That's why it's so like. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. That's All exactly right, there's two shots, so we're just going to take this together. All right. All right. Okay. Ready now? Birthday. <gasps> cheers. Wait, say oh, not cheers. Cheers. Yes. All right. <gasps> mm. This is not a sponsored, it's not a sponsorship. But if you do want a sponsorship, sponsor me. Get into it. Get into Captain it. Speak. Get into it. Get into it. Okay. Okay, you know, drink responsibly. We need yes, to have our people. water sponsor. Yes. You know, just very a, important just a suggestion. <laughs> but thanks, guys, for tuning in. This has been a very extra special episode of Day Drink with Juby J. Yes. Our love levels love episode. Yes. All right, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye, everybody. Bye guys.